Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. Um, I'm still working on uh, challenges for the Dotty About Flare Cyber Crop and also for International Scrapbook Day. So today's layout is um, I'm following Kathy's challenge over at the Cyber Crop and Kathy challenged us to use to do a grab five. So she had five things obviously. One of them was a pattern paper background. One of them was old stroke new stash, border strip, paper alphas and an envelope. So I've got an envelope here, which is also older stash really. I just grabbed it from where my cards are. Um, new stash is the, the, the paper's brand new. Um, the alphas are pretty new. Um, the tracing paper could be considered old stash. I've got a good mix there. Border strip came from this this paper, which is um, Vicky Boot and Sweet Rush, and it's the charmed, charmed um, sheet, which is quite appropriate, really, because I've got a charming photo of Elvis the donkey here, wearing his little coat, um, and then paper alphas. So I've stamped these. Use my Ellie Studio tile alphabet set, which is this one here. It's the medium tile alphabet set. I've used it before and I've stamped these pieces here. I did think about cutting them out and using them individually, but yeah, I didn't, I didn't get that far. Uh, Distressed ink, dusty concord. And what I did was I just, I've used my little foam thing here just to go around the edges, ink around the edges with that. And I've just used my distress tool to distress the bottom of the border strip, mostly because there was still a little bit of colour on it from the actual pattern paper. I'd not quite got it in the right position. So, yeah, that's those five things from Kathy. Now, the other challenge that I'm taking part in is the one at Hey Little Magpie, and it's the Spell Your Name Challenge. So what we have to do is use the letters of our name to come up with, you know, techniques or tools or, or, or um, uh, stash items to make the layout. I believe that's what it was without looking at it again. So anyway... I've come up with hearts. I've got these hearts from my stash here. Uh, enamel dots, which I've got on my little um, plate here. Layers, which I'm layering here. Ephemera pieces, which, you know, could be anything. And, and I decided on notebook pattern, because there's notebook pattern in this paper, and I couldn't come up with anything else for N. So <laughs> that's what I came up with. So my dots here, I've got some purple gems here. Dotty back flare, beautiful pieces here. A little brad some bramble fox pieces, some washi tape and some air thread here. I've also got to hand my Heidi Swap Colour Shine in gold and nickel, just in case I fancy using a little bit of that. I've got my um, Baker's Twine here. And the, the other alphas that I've picked out are these Thickers Tinsel Town. I'm not sure, I must admit, I don't know what collection they came with. It's possible it was the Vicky Booting one, but I'm not sure. Um, what year were they? Was it last year? It was last year, yeah, so it might have been the Vicky Booting. And I've also got this tiny little brad that I've kept separate from the other brads. Did I show you the brads? I've got the brads here. Picked up, they're not part of the out the um, things that I had to choose using my name, obviously, but then I picked these out because of the colours, really, because of the purple. And, and amongst them all, I found this little um, tiny little bow tie. I don't know if you can really see that very well, but it's so cute, and I'm keeping it separate just here so I don't forget it's there. Because I have a habit of forgetting things when I say that I might use them and then I, they end up staying on my plate or something. But anyway, I just thought that was so cute and quite relevant for Elvis with his coat on there. And, uh, you know, looks as though he really should have a bow tie as well, doesn't he? Um, it's a... Um, the photo was taken yet yeah, at the Isle of Wight Donkey Sanctuary. I went to visit Elvis recently. And he's wearing this protective coat because he has like a skin condition. And also, I think it's to keep the bugs and things off of him. So, um, yeah, he looks so cute and really easy to find. <laughs> I was driving along the road alongside the sanctuary. And I'm pretty sure I spotted purple as I was driving along. And I, I kind of didn't really think about it at that moment. But later on, I did because um, I'd already seen him with his purple coat on. But, um, yeah, he's... It was funny, I forgot sort of not connected to it. Oh, that's not going well, is it? Yeah, I'd not kind of thought, oh, that's Elvis when I saw the purple in the distance, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know what I'll do. He looks really cute in it, although obviously it does serve a purpose to protect him, uh, protect him from the elements, so to speak. 
finished. He's quite old, Elvis. I'm not sure how old he is, but um, yeah, he's quite old. I don't remember a time when he wasn't at the donkey sanctuary. I've adopted him for quite a few years. So I'll just use this phone strip because it's what I've got to hand and uh, the envelope's tearing. So just to make it easy, I'll use this. This pattern paper is absolutely gorgeous really love it i think i could probably use it several times and i think is it that floral on the back yes it is that floral on the back which i'm not a floral person and when i see all these challenges coming up to use florals i'm like oh you know i can't do it but there you go i found a way to use a floral on the layout because i had to use the branding strip and i figured it went quite well obviously with the paper that it's the reverse of Right, I'm sure that's the intention that the sides go well together. So, uh, the title is Elvis's Dream Coat. That's kind of my connection to Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dream Coat, and also, you know, the pattern paper does resemble the colours of the Dream Coat, doesn't it? Uh, I've got this uh, Bumble Fox piece that I thought went really well, the colour and everything. Cherish the little things. And then I thought what I might do is pop um, these here, purple ones here at the bottom. Now this this is a brad, like I say, and um, oh, just lost a bit of it there. Never mind. Uh, I think the other bit's coming off too. I might try and leave that on actually to poke that through with the um, put that metal in the bin. So I don't want the dog getting on hold of it. I think that um, you know. Obviously, they're designed to have ribbon put through them. I don't have any ribbon. I don't have any purple ribbon. I don't have any, like, neutral ribbon. So the only ribbon I've got has got kind of red in it. I didn't really want to use that. So, I mean, I've used these before without anything going through them. So it's just fine. It's just another design thing. And then this little heart here. I just, when I was looking through my hearts, I found this one with all the little patterns on it. So I thought that was quite cute. I might use that. I think I've got to decide where I want this, uh, where I actually want that that to go I quite like this here and this is kind of the notebook thing so what I think I might do is push it further up onto the green because the green doesn't matter too much just have it maybe about here I think I'll probably have it about there so what I'll do is I'll get that down now see if I can get this to work now oh yeah it's fine just didn't like that end loop We'll match that up to that little there's a little bit of the line there from the notebook paper so we'll just match that up and hope that it's uh, <coughs> straight actually I think I'm going to get my uh, tea ruler just to guide it a little bit there yeah that's not too bad is it I think that's quite straight actually yeah Right, so that's that down, and then uh, this is going to go there. Maybe I'll kind of centre it or just place it on top of this section here, the coloured section. So again, that leaves the notepad, notepad element visible, and it looks. I think it looks. I think it looks nice as well. And if I raise that, if I push that a little bit higher. Not too high because the branding strip, but just about there, you still get the the notebook element below there. So yeah, that's good. Okay, right. It's left more of a gap here than I thought I was going to have, but I could put this here and then the title or the Elvis bit here. I'm not sure yet. I've also did I show you the washi tape? I've got the washi tape. This is a simple story as well. I thought about adding some washi tape as well, and maybe this, I like this chaotic 1950s pattern. Um, I'll just pop that there, think about that. I've got my uh, XL flare here, which I think looks like a little bit like the, you know, the, the hay. <laughs> That's my interpretation anyway. <laughs> and a little, the little sweetheart piece from Bramble Fox. And this arrow piece, looks nice and I thought that might look go matches this this here I'm not like I'm not trying to match 
them as such but if you know if they do look if it goes well with the color then um that's what i'll do i think that's you can probably see that's got love on it does it say love on it i think it says love on it yeah it does i do love this i do love elvis the donkey he gives me enormous pleasure i love visiting him i've got picked out these gray ones because of elvis is kind of like a well he's got gray in him I'm not sure if I'm going to make those work now. I'll pop those there for now, though. Now then. Dream coat could go across there, couldn't it? Now I've got to put a thing where I want to put the name. I've, I've pulled these off loosely. Um, off the backing. A couple of them actually came away with the backing attached to them. Because uh, that was good, though. Because I didn't want them sticking down too much. I'm just wondering whether I should put dream coat there and just put Elvis's here, above here. I think I quite like that actually, on top of that uh, floral there. There, like that. I think I might do that. And what I might do is extend this a little bit with the some of the washi. So maybe this one here. Maybe take the red off and just use these. Here, like that, and a thing. I might use a strip of this one too, just here. Right, yeah, that's not stuck down yet, obviously. So, that is stuck down, isn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking I quite like the way that looks. I've got my heart, I've got enamel dots, I've got to remember purple ones here. I've got my layers. I think my ephemera is just everything. Notebook pattern obviously. Right. Oh I didn't realise they were different sizes. I thought they were all the same. But one two large ones. Oh no, yeah. Two large ones and the rest of the smaller ones. Um let me think. Could we do one here? Possibly, and then I could possibly extend that down to here, couldn't I? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about that now. Put those to one side for the second. I think I like those ones at the top though. And these ones here. <sighs> I think they might need staples as well. I think this layout needs staples. Oh, and what was I going to do with that little bow tie? <laughs> it is amazing that little bow tie. I'm just wondering whether to put it to put it there on the little H there. I think I might do that actually. And I've got that heart. I've got to use a heart though, haven't I? I mean, I have got a heart there actually, so I have got a heart, but. Um, yeah, I need to use another heart. I'd quite like to use that piece as well that I found. So, hmm. Should we get this down? That can be stuck down because that's that's got no backing on it. That piece can be stuck down. I need to remove the backing from that piece. I really liked the neutral colour of these. Uh, Alphas, and I thought they kind of went well, you know, with the hay in the barn and the kind of country kind of theme of that. That's just my way of thinking, anyway. There, so that's Elvis's dream coat. I don't think I'll raise that on anything, although, actually, you know, I think I will raise that because it'd be a shame. For it not to stand out a little bit, wouldn't it? Have I got a piece here that I can use? Yeah, I've got a cut off piece there that I can use, so I'll use that. Right, pop that on there. Yeah, perfect. Oh, I'm glad I've done that now. I think I do want that to be raised. There. Yeah, maybe over slightly if I can pull it up. Which I can because it's uh, 
not very sticky. I mean, it is sticky, but it's not sticky to the point where you can't pick it up. Elvis's dream cake. Right. I haven't added my dots to these. I normally do that. We'll add this one here. Little, bring it down slightly because I will want to put something around, wrap some twine around that. And I think we'll pop the sweetheart down. That goes really nicely on that colour there, I think. Although I think that's like a, is it like a peachy colour? I'm not sure. It goes nicely anyway. Put this one on here. Maybe up a little bit there. Yep. This one here. Maybe there. Yeah. Right, those ones there. Now I'm thinking I probably, do I need one here? bits to use if I wanted to pop them here actually because I've got I'm not coming up with a particular kind of like design here <laughs> like you know um like top left or bottom right or anything like that I'm just kind of I think I'm just sort of filling the page really um yeah <laughs> hope it doesn't look too as if I've thrown it together I don't think I have I really like those there though I am going to put them there. I've had these little gems for quite a long time. I think they might have been some that my auntie brought me back from Vietnam. Um, when my cousin was in Vietnam. He was uh, living in Vietnam. And they visited her and she brought me quite, back some gem, um, gems and, and things. And I'm sure this is from then. It was quite a long time ago. Quite a few years ago now. Yeah, I do like those like that. Definitely going to stick those there. And I think we'll pop the title down as well as we're here with the glue. Uh, right there. Does that look nice there? Yeah, I think it does. I am going to put that little bread there. And I think, you know, I'm going to just put that heart there because I like it there. And I'm going to put that little bread there a bit later on. I'll have to poke a hole through the page to do that, as I will for this one here. So, um, yeah. I don't know if you heard that. My husband's just saying he's taking the doggies for a walk. He didn't realise I was filming. It's fine though. <laughs> you might hear some barking in a minute then. Right. I think they're fine there. Stick those down. Is that going to look weird now? Is that going to look weird like not because it's flat to the page and they're not? They're raised. Sorry about that, the dogs were a little bit excited about going for their walk, so I just had to uh, pause for a moment. And I was thinking about it, and I didn't, I don't like that they're just flat to the page with the other pieces, you know, uh, raised. So what I thought I'd do is use this piece here, and what I did was, I, um, I put some foam pads on here, removed the, um, you know, the metal... I don't know what you call them, legs or the things that, you know, you put through the page. And and I'm hoping that I can get it to, uh, you know, stick onto the flare piece and stay in place. I think, yeah, I think I can manage that. So I do. <laughs> I really like that though. Now then, I'm going to have a staple here because I want a bit of metal on this page. And also it helps to keep that stuck down properly. Blending strip there. I may still add more. Um, I may still add more um, uh, staples. Now then, I've got to find out. That's kind of in the centre. The legs or the little bits they're kind of in the centre. So what I'll do is I'll just poke a hole there, like that, and pop that through. The obviously the. Uh, Bramble Fox piece there is still um, drying. I can see the, the glue, the white of the glue. I wanted to get that on. I don't want to lose it. There. Yes. <laughs> That's a real good use of stash, that is. I've had that for a long time. And I'm not even sure how I acquired it. You know, it probably just came in a packet of various ones or something. Right. Are all these things glued down? I think they are, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. 
now then what else was i thinking about <sighs> do i want some more hearts on here i have got the one heart there haven't I? i've got the heart there just wondering whether i want another heart um pick that up another heart here maybe yeah and i could probably stick out, perhaps put one down here as well like there i think i will do that actually yeah then i've added hearts haven't i not just one heart and i quite like those retro looking hearts actually i think they came in a pack i'm not sure uh, if I've got too many of those left. Now I've got the other brads here, but I don't think I'm going to use those. Um, now then I need to think about my twine. Right, I think I'm going to put the baker's twine at the top here. Is that enough there? Two. Yeah, I think so. No, actually I think I want a little bit more than that. I do like using my baker's twine, or my actual twine around my uh, pieces, flare pieces, and uh, particularly these XL pieces. <gasps> makes it even more dramatic doesn't it just the glue there and wrap that one around like that there I like that now then do I want to add more or do I just want to leave that one I've stuck these down already and I've already you know um pulled my threads so I'd have to pull those up wouldn't I and I've also already stuck that down with the foam pads and everything so I don't want to mess about with that too much I think I might just leave it with the, the thread the twine around that one piece there so have we done everything we need to do I think we went through it already didn't we with the branding strip the pattern paper the old and the new stash this is very old little brad and the border Paper alphas and the envelope. So that's Kathy's Grab Five uh, done fine. And the, the other one, the Spell Your Name one was Hearts, Enamel Dots. I think these can be considered, can they be considered enamel dots? They're not enamel dots, they're gems. Layers, ephemera, lots of ephemera, a notebook pattern. Um, I'm wondering whether to add some of these gold enamel dots somewhere. I don't know where though. Could um hmm. I want to but just can't uh, I can't think where unless I could just put one there. Could I put one there? Do you think? Does that look okay? And maybe another one here. I hope you can't hear that buzzing. I can hear a buzzing. I think it might be a fly or something going on around me I'm going a bit crazy with these now and I said I wasn't going to use them not sure about that one there but it's actually stuck down now I don't want to tear the paper so I think I'll leave it right okay <laughs> so I'm thinking oh, do I want some here <laughs> I think I might go a bit crazy with them because what I'm thinking now is I've kind of got three, the purple, the purple, the purple, the gold, the gold, the gold. <laughs> and uh, yeah, why not go a little bit crazy? There, I've got enamel dots on the page now as well. Now then, um, stapling. Do I want some more stapling? I think I do, you know. I'm just going to put some here. Can you see that? I don't know if I can here. Just there. And I'm going to do the same on this side here. Hope nothing moves there. I just feel as though like I wanted some uh, more metal on the page. Um, I've got the date stamp here. I've got to add the date. Where shall I put the date? Uh, I've already set the date. Just check that. Yep. Yep. Is that the right way? Yeah. Um, hmm. Maybe just here at the bottom. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, so that's that done. I don't, like I said, I don't think I'm going to add any more twine. I think I'm just going to stick with what's there. I've got my um, ink here, mists. I could sort of maybe add a little bit here, I think. I'll just shake them up. 
this layer has obviously got um, the gold on it um, and the silver, which, you know, doesn't bother me in the slightest. I know some people probably wouldn't like to do that, but yeah, that doesn't bother me at all. Actually, it says, is this black? It's not black, is it? It's pewter. Let me just test that. Actually, I think when it dries, it dries quite um, light anyway. Yeah, I didn't want it to be black. Just add a little bit here. There, like that, I think. Maybe a little bit in this corner. Bring it, just to bring it down. It doesn't matter about the uh, photo because that's a selfie photo. I've said it before, they're, you know, pretty indestructible. Now I'm thinking that I want to add some gold as well in the same area. But I probably need to let that dry first, don't I? So I think I will do that, yeah. Okay, so um, i will wait until it's dry and then I'll add the gold. I think I'll add the gold mist. But other than that, I think I've done everything that I want to do. Um, it's just a fun layer of uh, Elvis at the Donkey Sanctuary with his little coat on and, uh, you know, all the colours and everything. And I've done a couple of challenges there, so I'm quite happy with that. So um, it's uh, International Scrapbook Day was yesterday. But obviously, you know, it carries on. The challenges are most of the challenges that I've seen it open for at least a week or two. Um, so if you wanted to go over to Hey Little Magpie, Dotty Bat Flare and uh, take a look at all the challenges, you know, these this is just one or two of them. There's, there's, there's plenty more to look at and uh, quite simple ones. Some ones where you have to have a little think and uh, but, you know, they're all quite flexible. So you can just do your own thing. Um, and make it work for you without too much stress. I see some people saying that it's overwhelming because there's so many challenges um, over the National Scrapbook Day time period. But the way I do it is I just pick the ones that are kind of relevant to me. So I like to do the Dotty Bat Flare. It's my favourite product. I'm on the design team. And also Hayley Little Magpies are, is where I get most of my scrapbooking supplies. And also Bramble Fox as well. I'll take a look and see what they're doing. And... To be honest, I just do the ones that I, you know, to begin with, I'll just kind of think, oh, yeah, I can match that one to this layout that I'm, I'm planning and I'll do that. But I don't kind of think, oh, I've got to do every single one. I've got to do exactly that way, this way or the other way. You know, I, it's not fun then, isn't it? So to make it fun, just, you know, you don't have to do them all and they are flexible. So just do whatever, you know, makes you happy and uh, doesn't cause you any stress because, you know, scrapbooking is not supposed to be stressful. It's supposed to be enjoyable, isn't it? And fun and relaxing. So, uh, yeah. Right. Once again. Thanks for joining me. Stay safe, take care and I shall see you next time.